tell you they're champs and wolf. Yes, Apple Silicon is here. And are you excited? Because I'm excited. But you may not want to buy this. I'm going to tell you why you might not want to buy it. I'm definitely getting these in for review. So make sure you subscribe. I'm going to slam these things. And I'm going to do tests. I'm not going to do Geekbench. I'm going to do some serious tests. And we'll see. Are these better than the Intel systems without the Apple propaganda? Or should you wait for the next generation Apple Silicon laptops? So we have three new Macs with Apple Silicon, yes. Very excited here. And just going on this Apple Silicon, there are some limitations with this Apple Silicon that you need to know about. Make sure you stay to the end. But let's have a look at them. So we've got the MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, Mac Mini. Now, important point, and this is what I'm going to get onto later. And a lot of people thank me when I've done this sort of video for the Surface Pro X. This is the MacBook Pro 13 2 Thunderbolt 3 ports. So it's not replacing the 4 Thunderbolt 3 port model. But if you listen to Apple, these things are just amazing. They're off the charts the performance now have a look at the figures here and they're comparing it to an i5 and we're talking the 15 watt not the 28 watt one that's what they're comparing it to and it's interesting that they do have different power supplies for the macbook air and macbook pro but yeah 5.9 times faster than final cut you know unity three times now this is the one that stands out to me this is really good especially when that game has got to be running in emulation 2.9 times faster now we know that the MacBook Pro 13 with four Thunderbolts is around two times faster than the base model that has the two Thunderbolts. So this is another 0.9 times faster. That's impressive because it is running in emulation there. Not only that, that goes with the CPU too. Let's have a look at Final Cut. The MacBook Pro 13s weren't good for Final Cut to be honest when it comes to rendering and stuff like that. That is a good boost there. Even with the fourth Thunderbolt 3 model, it's going to destroy that as well. So it is faster than the Intel system, it looks like. Again, wait for reviews. But let's have a look at some important differences, okay? So the MacBook Pro 13 only has two Thunderbolt 3 ports. This may be a limitation of this Apple Silicon. Why doesn't it have the fourth Thunderbolt 3 version out? Because I think there's another MacBook Pro going to come out probably early next year with an even better chip. Now, if you're going to buy a MacBook Air or the base model MacBook Pro, just buy this now. Straight away, buy it. You might want to wait for the model with the four Thunderbolt 4s and maybe that thing's got 12 cores. But on the surface, you think M1 chip, they're all the same. I don't think they're the same. The MacBook Air base model only has seven cores. So it says up to eight cores, but you can get a seven core version. So there's a difference in the silicon there. Now the MacBook Pro 13s have a 61 watt charger. Maybe they're just using the old charger maybe there's no difference but the macbook air uses a 30 watt charger so the macbook pro does have a fan the macbook air doesn't so you just know it's got a bigger power supply it's got a fan it's going to go harder for longer than the macbook air not to say the macbook air will be a slouch so i do think that here this m1 is actually the base model this is like their lower end apple silicon there's going to be better than this now they said it has hbm memory and if you have a look there, you can see HBM memory. What I didn't say was HBM. They said high bandwidth memory, but it looks like HBM memory. It's like directly connected to basically the silicon on chip here. And have a look here on the right. If that's a real die shot, look how it looks compared to the illustration. It looks like a dog's breakfast compared to the illustration. That's just, yeah, that's a bit funny. Of course, that's how it was. It was never as neat as their illustrations. But that's one thing to know with the MacBook Air. You're going to get one less GPU core unless you opt for the higher model. And the MacBook Pro 13s are definitely going to be faster. And of course, the Mac Mini will be faster as well. There is a difference in the display as well. They're the same resolution with the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. 400 nits versus 500 nits on the pro now they all have wi-fi 6 awesome i love it one thing about the mac mini is no 10 gig networking now so that sucks a bit and apparently with these macs you won't be able to use an eGPU so you won't be able to use AMD graphics. There shouldn't be a technical reason why this isn't possible other than Apple won't supply the drivers. It should be able to work but apparently no it's not going to work. But here's the limitations of this Apple silicon right. First of all you used to be able to get 32 gigs now you're limited to 16 gigs. Now that's of course because we're using the high bandwidth memory, very expensive. Eventually they'll have Apple Silicon that can do 32 gigs, 64 gigs. But now this is their lower end Apple Silicon, you only got 16 gigs. Also they're touting faster SSD, so better storage. So 3.3 gigabytes per second. So it is faster than the current Max. But 11th generation Intel CPUs can use PCI Express 4 now. Now they can have SSDs that can do like 6 gigabytes per second. Yes, 
nearly double this. But I don't see any laptops implementing it because it's obviously a power hog to do so. And that's the great thing about these laptops is the battery life. Now a lot of people say it's a lazy upgrade because Apple have just shoved some supercharged iPad silicon into the current MacBook Pro chassis. And yeah, that is true in some ways. These are the old systems here. I don't consider these the true Apple silicon redesign that we're going to have next year. Now as I said before, if you're in the market for a MacBook Air or the base model MacBook Pro, definitely just buy these no brainer but there are some reasons why you might not want to buy these that's because of the new redesign app compatibilities yeah they say it will run well in rosetta and all this there'll be one thing that doesn't run well and that'll just stuff you up and you'll be tearing your hair out so with intel it's a safe bet and that's the thing right i always said you can still buy intel now even now macbook pro 13 if you want get the intel system it's definitely an option you know everything's going to work it's going to be supported for years and by the time the intel laptop you buy needs updating apple silicon will be much better and just think what's coming in the new apple silicon max next year we're going to have obviously faster cpus more ram 16 gigs won't be the limit anymore we're going to have face id new design less bezels i mean 2015 xps 15 come out with the thin bezels i mean the max still have sizable bezels these days it'll be nice to have a redesign with new bezels probably going to be smaller and lighter these ones might be good in one way because i doubt that the new redesigns that they're not going to cut some battery out make them thinner and lighter I think that's what they'll do. So for battery life, these may be the kings. Also, you'll be able to have four Thunderbolt 4s, mini LED HDR displays, which, you know, people are doing HDR content now. You need a HDR display. And for me, the biggest thing missing from these Macs is 5G or LTE. I don't really care about the 5G that much, but I want to see even just LTE in Macs, which you can do because you have it on the iPad, right? So why not have it on the Macs? And then you can go out and about anywhere and you're always connected. So that's my thoughts on the Mac. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to slam these things. Can't wait to get them in house. Yeah, it's exciting to have new stuff. It's exciting to have new silicon and it's going to be exciting to compare them to other Macs and just even other PCs, see how we go there. So make sure you sub up. Catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.